Hello everyone, I'm Paul and today we're solving problem 1353, maximum number of events that can be attended. This one is medium, but this might be tricky. So here I will show you my intuition, approach and efficient solution. We are given an array of events where each of these events have a start day and an end day. And we can only attend one event at a time and we need to return the maximum number of events that we can attend. For example, if these are the events, we can return three, meaning we can attend all of these events. And here you can see how. In the first day, we can go to the first event, and the second day, we can go to the second event, and in the third day, we can go to the third event. Now maybe you're thinking about sorting this by the first element and then just checking if the start day of every event is greater than the start day of the previous event and if so you add one to the result so here we will add one here we will add one and we'll start with one event so in this case we will return three with this approach but this is wrong i will show you why Let's say we're given these events, and this is already in sorted order by the first element. And here we can attend this first event on day one. Now we're here, and given that the start day for this event is greater than the start day of the previous event, we should be able to attend this event here, at day two, at this day. But the problem comes here. We only have one day to attend this event. And this is day two here. We have already used this day for this event, but this is not the optimal solution. We should attend this event on the only available day and then attend this event on any of these days. So the approach for this will be the following. Let's say we have these events. This is already sorted by the first element and we'll iterate every day from one up to the maximum day, meaning five in this case, and we will have a J pointer for events. And we will also have a priority queue or mean heap, which is initially empty. So first we are day one and we are checking if the current start day for events at J equals to the current day. So in this case, one equals one. And here we need to add the end day to the priority queue. So now we have a two here and we update J. So now we are checking if the start day for the current event, meaning two equals the current day and two is different from one. So for now we can forget about these events. And we're checking if we have something in our priority queue. Here we have a two meaning we can pop this, meaning we can attend this event on day one. So we attend this event here and we add one to the result. So the result is now one. Now we are at day two. So we are checking if the start day for the current event equals the current day. Two equals two, meaning we need to add a five to the priority queue. So we add five here and we update J. Now the start day for the current event equals the current day, so we add the end day for this event in the priority queue, so we add two here. Now J is here and the start day for this event still equals the current day, so we add another two to the priority queue. Now we update J and we reach the end. So now we can forget about this. Now we are at day two and we need to attend one event. So we check if we have something in the priority queue and we have three values here. So we need to pop the first one and given that we have a priority queue, we pop the smallest one. So we can pop any of these two. Let's say we pop this and we add one to the result. So this is now two. And what this means is we can attend this event. Now we are at day three and remember we don't care about this anymore. 
So we are checking if we have something in our priority queue, but first we need to pop from here the values that are smaller than the current day because we can't attend this event because we are day three, but this event only happens on day two, so we can't attend this. So we need to pop this from the priority queue. And after doing this, we check if we have something else in the priority queue. In this case, we have a five. So here we can pop this five. We add one to the result, this is three and we can attend this event here. Now we are at day four, we don't have any elements in the priority queue, so we continue. Finally, we're here at day five, we don't have any more elements in the priority queue, so we continue, we reach the end, and we return the result, which is free. Time complexity for this will be roughly big O of n log n, and space complexity will be big O of n. So now let's go with the code and hopefully you will get the idea. First we need to get the maximum day for all the events. So we'll call this mx and this is the maximum of end day for start and in events. Now we need to sort the events, so events dot sort and now result is initially zero priority q is an empty array and j is zero and now we can iterate every day so for i in range from one up to mx plus one and first we'll check while j is smaller than length events and events at j zero equals to i so if the start day for the corresponding event at j equals to the current day we can add to a priority queue so hit push pq events at j1 and we update the j pointer next while we have something in the priority queue and the current day is greater than priority queue at zero remember we need to pop every element from the priority queue that's smaller than the current day because we can't attend these events. So for example, if the first element in the priority queue is two, but we are at day three, we need to pop this two. So hip priority queue dot hip pop priority queue. And now if we have something in the priority queue and the current day is smaller or equal to priority queue at zero hip priority queue dot hip pop pq so we pop the first element and we add one to the result and this is just for optimization if we don't have a priority queue and j equals length of events we can break the loop. So just to be clear, this is only for optimization. And finally, we can return the result. So this is it for the code. Now let's submit this and see if it works. As you can see, this works and it's very efficient. So if you found this useful, please drop a like, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.